Old Schooler is a suite of visual effects for Unreal Engine that are designed to make your assets look like they have the limitations of much older game engines. So let's go through the effects that are available in the 1.0 release. The voxelization effect generates a displacement map that when applied to a tessellated mesh will make your models appear chunky and cubic and as if they are made out of 3D pixels. This isn't a true retro effect so much as it is a stylized one meant to evoke the aesthetic that has been popularized by recent mining and crafting games. Vertex quantization snaps a mesh's vertices to a three-dimensional grid. This simulates the jittery, jiggly effect that the vertices on models in older game engines would have due to the lack of floating point precision. The pixelization effect makes individual meshes appear as if they are being rendered at a much lower resolution than their surrounding environment. The stipple transparency effect generates an opacity mask that can give an object the illusion of translucency by making it a high frequency pattern such as checkerboards or stripes in screen space. This was a common workaround for achieving effects such as glass or fire on systems that were not capable of real translucency. Flicker transparency is another such effect relying on an optical illusion to give the appearance of translucency where there is none. Whether you use this or stipple transparency will depend on your aesthetic and particular use case. Vertex lighting is a simplified lighting model where lighting is calculated per vertex rather than per pixel as is usually done on modern engines. In addition to having a distinct appearance, this kind of lighting is extremely efficient to calculate and so is useful when developing for mobile or WebGL. Additional effects are already in the works and will be made available as free updates for all existing users. If you have any questions before you buy that weren't answered in this video, please don't hesitate to contact me at the link provided. Thanks!